and see in the place to be and see yeah hi all and welcome back to my channel i hope you all fine yeah um i don't know if you can remember but um i bought me long ago an um, yeah pci express sata card um i have shown you that also on some older videos and i was you know just testing some stuff again and i have just found out a great thing which gonna give you of course more performance that means um you're gonna be able uh, that your sata card will be yeah able to run with a lots of more speeds because it conforms um where you have connected and that's why i just wanted to do that video um other people also ask me if i can show um yeah what you can do if you have some problems to yeah let's say uh, to connect the card and sometimes on uh, a lot of computers the card was just not uh, be able to work because it was not recognized by the system uh, I'm gonna now also show you some stuff on the BIOS itself so that means later we need to enter the BIOS and there you're gonna of course need to activate sometimes not on all motherboards but sometimes you need to activate an extra option that this gonna be able to work really great so I'm here now on the um, I think it was this one here, yes, this is the package where I have just bought it, um, this came from China, it's not bad at all, and uh, you can also use it on, yeah, let's say with RAID 0, RAID 5 and RAID 10, I'm not sure, but you can also, of course, uh, got it working with RAID 0. So here's the driver disks, and um, some people also ask me if I can pass them the drivers, yes, I'm gonna post you... Uh, a link with the drivers that means I'm gonna just copy that here and I'm gonna just upload the drivers but you need to be sure that these drivers are really working otherwise um, maybe you're gonna install the wrong drivers and then you have let's say some buggy system and that will be not so great so yeah uh, but I have like I told um, done a video a long time ago so this was also included for some smaller low, pri uh, low profile systems but um, I think you already know that and uh, that's why I just gonna put this away. If you want, uh, you can also of course um, search on eBay or on Amazon. You're gonna be able to find this kind of uh, great SATA cards. Yeah, not the best, yeah, but they are working like it should work. And uh, like I told, now we're gonna go here uh, to my desktop and maybe I'm gonna just switch it back so that I, yeah, I'm gonna be able to show you some more stuff. But maybe, I'm sh yeah, maybe I should now just first start um, to show you the option on, uh, let's say, BIOS. So let me not just um, shut off and we're gonna just go now quickly on BIOS because this is really a uh, thing that you should know. Otherwise, you're gonna not be able to get it working like it should work. You can see here also my motherboard itself. I got here um, this kind of uh, SATA connectors and on the top I got uh, two red ones which are uh, for marble. Uh, these red ones, they are working with a Marvel chip and the other ones, they are working over the Intel chip. So I got here running, um, let's say, uh, my system on RAID 0. I got uh, yeah, here the system on RAID 0 and then I got also a second RAID 0 partition uh, just for my games. Okay, And that's why you can see here lots of <laughs> SSDs. But yeah, it's working just faster. I know a SSD is fast already. But the only problem is on all the motherboards, um, yeah, the performance from the SSD gonna not be able. Um, oh, let me quickly go. Yeah, okay, so it works. <laughs> um, yeah, like I told, uh, on all the motherboards, just like this one here, it's an old motherboard, but it's still a very good one. So this is an ASUS Rampage 3 Extreme. I still love it. Uh, the only thing is, um, yeah, the SATA controller, they are not uh, so fast like the newest ones for now. <laughs> of course, you can get uh, lots of faster SATA controllers on the newer motherboards, but um, I'm really happy with it. And if you just do that with some great SSDs and when it just set it as RAID 0, you're gonna have really a high-end performance. So, and that's why I have just done it here over the Intel chip because it's yeah, just working really faster. If you just do RAID 0 on the Marvel, uh, the speed's gonna stay the, the same, so that's why it's recommended to do that over the Intel chip. Okay, so this is just what I wanted to tell you also. So now I'm on BIOS, like you can see, I'm gonna now just disable the lights. And here on BIOS somewhere, um, you're gonna be able to find an option which is um, 
uh, on the onboard devices okay not on all motherboards like i told so please guys this is not for all the motherboards it conforms which system you got that's why i just want to explain you that so here let's go in again and here you can see here uh, on onboard sata controller this should be enabled okay uh, sometimes it will work also but um, if it's just disabled this can cause you some problems okay so this sometimes can be the reason why your sata card was not recognized or let's say yeah not detected and that's why this is just okay because if you just enable this one here it gonna of course be able to work way better okay i just wanted to show you that and um, now i'm going to go back and this was the only thing so you need to search on your bios uh, if you have some kind of option like this because of course this is gonna help you okay so now let me know just exit you can see here i got lots of pci um yeah let's say connectors and uh, on this board here i got of course here uh, some switches which i can just enable or disable my pci express slots okay and this of course is very important because if you have them disabled and you just try to connect your card <laughs> of course it will not work because the pci slot is just disabled okay and that's the problem of course you need to take care sometimes on some boards you're gonna find some jumpers which you can just activate the second or the third pci express uh, slot on the most motherboards you're gonna not have these jumpers because these are just special motherboards just like this one's here this was once of the best motherboard long time ago which you was able to overclock it uh, to the high end okay so here with this motherboard you was just able to get here really quad sli and all the stuff but um, yeah it's just that you guys know on this special motherboards just like this you're gonna have the option just to enable or disable the pci express slots here you can take a look okay so i know it's a little bit unsharp but you can just see it. myself i didn't know that i still have pci express 2.0 okay and now i'm going to talk about the most important thing because if you just have pci express 1.0 or 1.0 your uh yeah card will of course uh work slower that means if you just try to make some yeah ssd benchmarks or whatever if you just try to read or, or let's say just to benchmark the ssd uh, then of course you're going to have lower performance because the pci express is an older one and of course the data will not be able to run that fast as on the newest let's say pci express 4.0 okay on the newest am4 uh, motherboards you have of course uh, pci slots with pci express 4.0 but uh, this one here has pci express 2.0 and i was like hey 2.0 <laughs> I always thought that I have 3.0, but it's not like that. And that's why I was testing here around. And I found out that um, I'm, of course, even faster on this one here um, because this is PCI Express 2.0, here the red one. And it doesn't matter if it's working on 4 lanes or 8 or 16 lanes. Um, the most important is that is higher than, let's say, 2.0. Uh, dot zero because okay so older pci express the the data transfer okay i just want to try to explain that the data transfer on old pci express slots they are not so fast as let's say on pci express 3.0 okay because 3.0 of course is even higher so the card gonna be able to work faster okay so i have now just done some tests for myself and i had connected this card over here and um i had just about 150 megabytes per second read speeds here on this one okay and then i have just connected over here and i had better uh read speeds okay so i'm gonna not just uh go to the monitor i'm not sure if i'm gonna not just uh yeah record this all here over my monitor i think this will be just enough when i just gonna disable the lights and uh, now here i'm going to show you because i have already done some pictures for me and here this was the first benchmark uh with the other slot that i just yeah tried to explain you and i had here about 150 till maximum 200 and uh yeah 24 like you can see here okay so i like also this tool very much because hd tune with this tool you're going to be able to make some stuff and sometimes it's just better than other tools 
but uh, I just love this tool because I use it as a long time HD tune uh, I can really recommend so here you can see the speeds the read speeds here was about 150 non-stop till 224 but then I just change it to PCI Express okay and then I got or I had here 250 nearly let's say 240 uh, till 312 so here you can see the SATA card was uh, really working faster okay and it's just working faster because it's now connected on PCI Express 2.0 okay and yeah I just want that you guys know that because so you're gonna be able to get more performance from your SATA card um, and this is really just uh, yeah very interesting try to get the manuals from the internet if you have an ASUS motherboard then go to the ASUS web page and try to get the manuals from your motherboard and if you have just an SROG or a gigabyte motherboard doesn't matter go and try to find out some manuals and here I found out that I still have PCI Express 2.0 and I was something like what the hell 2.0 only <laughs> I thought I had 3.0 and that's why I was always thinking about that my PCI Express card was just not that great <laughs> I always thought that hey a shitty one <laughs> I'm never more gonna buy it but hey at least it's a good one it conforms of course your PCI slot okay so here um, I found out then uh, that I got uh, wait 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 it was maybe here I need to go back a little bit here okay here you can see that I got here four times PCI Express 2.0 okay and I always thought that my motherboard has 3.0 okay so it's no wonder uh, <laughs> that the yeah SATA card can just read on about let's say 300 megabytes per second okay if you have here PCI Express 3.0 or even 4.0 like on the newest motherboards with the AM4 Ryzen processors and all the stuff they all got about yeah PCI Express 4.0 uh, zero and that's why there your SATA card gonna of course run faster okay and then you can see um, I got here one time PCI Express which has just yeah four lanes but it's just in, yeah let's say a standard PCI Express okay this is not PCI Express 1.1 1 .1 or 1.0 this is just a PCI Express and that's why it was a little bit yeah slower and at last I got of course one uh, which is uh, PCI just only without Express so here I got just one uh, PCI slot 2.2 uh, .2, <laughs> which is the oldest one I have told you there because here I got my sound card connected and it's just enough for my sound card so I don't need anything else but here just that you guys can see again so the PCI just PCI slot is this one here under there where my sound card is connected you can see this one it's a little bit longer also and there we go okay so this is the older PCI slot and uh, yeah over there I got the PCI Express and the red ones are the PCI Express 2.0 okay so if you have your motherboard with uh, let's say PCI Express 3.0 then connect the card of course on the faster PCI Express slot okay so this is what I wanted to tell you the other thing is also um, yeah let's say if you have an old school computer just like this one here and if you have the option uh, to connect let's say the graphics card uh, on board then you can yeah just work with on board graphics and then you can connect your SATA card on the PCI Express slot okay let me not just try to show this so this computer here was not planted um, but I'm gonna try to show you wait now you can see here I got a low profile uh, old school GT430 <laughs> connected on this motherboard but here with this one I'm just working around here okay so this is just for me and I could probably uh, get my display working uh, with the onboard graphics uh, card like I got here okay so here I got an HDMI or here DVI or VGA doesn't matter I could connect my monitor uh, just here on the onboard and then I could use the SATA card here on PCI Express 2.0 because here I have also PCI Express 2.0 okay this is a very old motherboard which uh, is still working with uh, an, yeah, an Xeon here but this is socket 775 and uh, this had already 
uh, yeah, PCI Express 2.0. And that's why I always thought that here on the board with 1366 <laughs> that I got minimum uh, PCI Express 3.0, but uh -uh, this was not the thing. <laughs> okay, guys, so here I just wanted also to explain. This is again just a standard PCI Express you can see here. And there you got a faster one. And I had also on the older video connected here, but the speeds was not that fast. And that's why I just wanted to talk about that. And I'm going to not, again, repeating myself. <laughs> I just want that you guys understand that. I just want that you have a great working system. And on this motherboard, I just don't have the option on BIOS. Okay, so here it's, yeah, just working. Don't need to set anything. Okay, but sometimes uh, on some motherboards, you need extra to set some stuff and just then your PCI uh, yeah, card, SATA card going to work faster or let's say better, okay? So I hope you have understand all. I'm going to of course uh, just copy these drivers for you guys and then I'm going to post you also in the video description. I'm going to post your download link where you're going to be able to download these drivers for this SATA card here. And you can also here take a look. This has a Marvel chip 88SE 9215 plus. And yeah, you can also just take a look. And uh, before I forget, because some people says also ask me how to set RAID on uh, these cards. It's just simply you uh, need just to restart your computer or just uh, start your computer. And then you need uh, to try to get into the BIOS. And then you're going to just need to wait or you just press your tab. And then you're going to have uh, the post. Yeah, And you, then you just need to wait because um, when you have just connected two uh, SSDs or HDDs, doesn't matter, then you're going to have the option to set RAID 0, okay? But you have, if you just have connected one, uh, let's say, HDD, it will not come. So here you see now um, it's working. Here I got already my RAID system on board. Now I got here the marble chip, which is my marble chip that is inside the board. So this is just from ASUS. And then you see it needs a little bit longer, but then now it's just going to detect my card and now you're going to be able to see the SATA card. Here it is, okay? Here you can also see that the SATA card is just working slower because it's connected on an older PCI Express slot and that's why it's just reading 2.5 gigabits per second. And now you can see that the SATA card is working faster because it's just connected on a better, faster PCI Express slot and that's why it's reading 5 gigabits per second. Yeah, guys, and before I forget, I was you know about uh, to copy the drivers from the disk and inside the disk uh, I found here lots of more drivers I just wanted to let you know so you're gonna be able to find drivers for some USB 3.0 uh, cards or here uh, let's say again the SATA card and here you got drivers for the ASM Micron or for the Marvel chip SATA cards okay so here you're gonna be able to find some more drivers maybe you're gonna be able also to find the drivers that you have already searched and here like I told you can find some more stuff here USB 3.0 or for some USB 3.1 cards so here you got also some drivers inside okay I just wanted to let you know and yeah I just hope that this video gonna help lots of you guys um, I'm done for now I have nothing more to say I wish it just the best uh, still a great system still able to play all the stuff here still yeah, able to play the highest games. Uh, I got here 1080 Ti. Uh, yeah, I just love uh, 1366 motherboards because they are working without problem. I got here triple channel. Uh, guys, this is just an awesome system still. I, this, I don't know, it's about 10 years now and still working without problems. I can still play the newest games with that stuff. So, for what? <laughs> I don't need for now an AM4. But I'm thinking about to get one. So yeah, stay tuned on my channel because <laughs> yeah, I'm going to surprise you, of course. Peace. Wish you the best. Thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned on my channel for more stuff. Yeah, see ya. Bye-bye. NC. In the place to be. NC.